Hello Sagittarius, thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I'll send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. This reading resonates with that being said. Let's see what messages come through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, please give me clear messages for the sign of Sagittarius. What messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius at this time? Please and thank you. Clear messages for the sign of Sagittarius, please and thank you. This deck is so big. I love it, but these big cars are just... guys are embracing your individuality and you don't care what anyone has to say about it yes you're transforming you're embracing your individuality this transformation it feels good I, it's, it's like you're becoming healthier happier you're glowing you're shining brighter you're attracting abundance into your life as well. You're worrying less. It's like it's like you catch yourself worrying and then you shake it off and you keep moving forward. So it's like I'm getting that you guys if if you've been struggling financially, you're attracting abundance so you won't be stressing financially much longer. Things are working out for you guys. So you're going to find yourself in a very successful place in your life. All on your own independently. But I'm getting that you guys are going to be, because I'm picking this up, I'm channeling this, that you guys are going to be in a relationship. This is the year that you guys will have it all. You will be successful all on your own. I don't care what anyone is saying. You guys are manifesting whatever you desire this year. So it's like if you desire to be in a relationship, you will be in that relationship. Success, you're going to have that. So it's like whatever you want, you're getting it this year. I'm getting this like you guys have been very kind hearted. You have done the right thing. So it's like now you're reaping the benefits of it all. Some of you guys have been on your own and it's enough. Enough is enough. It's time for you to be in a relationship. It's time for you to have that support, that stability, that security. Like the universe has heard your cry. It, it, it's like you're not meant to sit and cry alone. You're meant to like have that shoulder to lean on. You're meant to have that shoulder to cry on. And you will. You will be in a loving relationship. You will have that person that you can trust and rely on. And then here's the thing. Because it's all starting with you guys embracing your individuality. Because... The most important thing here is you knowing and standing in your truth because you want to make sure whoever you are with, they know and appreciate who you truly are. Because I'm getting some of you guys have been in relationships with people that you felt like you pretended to be someone that you, like you wore a mask. And it, it's really because you were still figuring, it wasn't because you were trying to deceive someone, but you were still figuring out who you truly were. You were young. Yes, your purpose in life is to be in a particular commitment with someone here that you're about to end up with very shortly. This person is going to prioritize you. 
They're going to make you a priority in uh, their life. And this person is going to spoil you. They're, you're about to, and they're, it's this person, they're going to prioritize you. But the best part of this is because Sagittarius definitely, um, it's like in a relationship, you still need your sense of freedom. And this person is still going to allow you to have your sense of freedom. So it's like, you're going to love that this person prioritizes you, yet they still allow they still allow you to have your sense of freedom here. Now, the other great thing about this person is you guys are about to be in a relationship with someone. The person that you're about to be with, they're going to be that per type of person that they're going to be like, yeah, my wife, yeah, my wife, or yeah, my husband. Yeah, they're going to be that type of person like... <laughs> They they talk about you all the time. Like it, it does. They they're gonna wear their wedding ring, but they wouldn't even need to wear their wedding ring because everybody knows that they're married because they talk about you all the time. Y'all might end up having a village of children as well. Because they're like borderline obsessed with you. Like they only have eyes for you. They're obsessed with you. Not in a bad way. Yeah. They make this union, this this re uh this union because you guys are about to come into union with someone here but they make this union their number one uh priority but this is they feel like this is their responsibility like they make it their responsibility so it's their priority this union they take care of you like you feel taken care of The person that you're with, they're responsible. They take care of you. Gratitude. This person shows you that they appreciate you, that they're grateful to have you in their life. They feel like it's a blessing to be with you. Like they feel like the universe has blessed them to have you in their life. So this person feels responsible to cherish this union between you and them. It's like when you have a child, you're responsible to take care of that child. Like that's how this person treats this relationship, this union. I can't even call it a relationship because I feel like you guys are about to get married real soon because like I'm not getting a relationship, I'm getting union. And to me, union is much stronger than a relationship, even though it's a form of a relationship, but it's, it's, it's just a more stronger connection. Um, but they feel like they're obligated to make sure that this is taken care of, that they truly cherish this and they truly show the divine that they are grateful for this blessing that they have been given, I'm getting that has been bestowed upon them. And I mean, y'all hear how I talk. That's not how I talk, okay? So whoever you guys are about to end up with, this person truly is going to cherish you. I am getting Aretha Franklin uh, because um, I never loved a man the way that I have loved you. So some of uh, either y'all are about to end up with a woman that will be saying that song to you or 
y'all are about to end up with the man that's going to have y'all singing, that's going to make y'all feel that way about them. Or whatever way it goes. Whether you sing sex, it don't matter. For some of y'all, that's your song. Uh, You know what, here's my thing. I don't know what age range this is. I can understand if this is in the 20s. I can understand. But once, you're, once you hit the 30s, it's unacceptable. So, if it's in the 20s, I understand. Y'all still learning, okay? So, I'll give it to you if you're in your 20s. Where you can't reach out. You know, where you're still trying to figure things out. You're still trying to get your ego in check, you know. Because there's someone here. This is a different message, by the way. Because if you, you, you're you new to the channel and you, you know, you don't understand why I go through different decks and different messages come out. It's not the same message that flows all through the reading. It's different messages as I go through different decks. Sometimes the same message just flows, but there is someone here. This is definitely someone from the past. And someone who bailed out on you. This person just all of a sudden was like, I can't do this for whatever reason. There could have been family involved. Um, I don't know why friends would be invo involved, but it, it just seemed like too many people involved. Um, or whatever reason, take it as it resonates, this person bailed out on you. This person went from ghosting you. Now they're wondering, do they still have a chance to be with you? The thing is, is that this person would come back. They would love to be intimate with you here, but they will do the same exact thing that they did in the past. They're not going to stay around because they're chicken shit. I don't know why exactly they built out. I mean, the overall energy is they can't do this. They can't be in a relationship with you. Why can't they be in a relationship? Are there cultural differences, religious differences? Whatever reason, they feel like they can't be in a relationship with you. I'm not getting that they're involved with someone else. So there could be something significant here where they feel like they can't be in a relationship with you. And the only thing that I'm getting is cultural, religious, where their family would not approve of them being in a relationship with you. So it's like, it's okay for them to sleep with you, but God forbid they bring you home. No. 
The crazy part is, this person feels like you let them down and they miss hearing your voice. Did you guys do something to retaliate at this person? Like, did you guys post pictures out with someone else? Because like, they still feel the pain of something that you did. And it's like, they don't wanna know when you're in another relationship. The crazy part is, is like they, it's like, if they can't have you, they don't want anyone else to have. It's like, what? I don't get people who think like that. Because to me, it's like, just move on. I don't know, to me, it's that simple. But I, I don't understand like where you just obsess over someone and you, I, I don't know, but to each his own. But this person feels like if they can't have you, no one else can have you. And they are obsessing because you are moving on and they want to come back and be with you, but then they can't be with you. Or what it, this person is too confusing for me they're all over the place leave them alone let them torment themselves don't let them torment you that's what i say So you almost thought I was doing a Scorpio reading because that just got a little too intense. I almost forgot I was on Sagittarius. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. I keep getting like this verse and it's in the distance. So there has to be someone that you guys are either at a distance from or you guys are withdrawing your energy from this person. Because like I keep getting this verse and I can't get like what the song is. And but I'm like faintly getting like the verse and I've made up my mind and I've made up my mind. And I've made up my mind. I'm not wasting no more time. And I've made up my mind. I'm not wasting no more time. So someone is saying that they've made up their mind. They're not wasting no more time. Okay.
someone stayed in their comfort zone and it caused them to miss out on a commitment. They made a decision not to take action. what that noise was that just sounded like a little squeal i think that it's gonna be so much that comes out but it's like whew. let me just re-flip these or get this all out because let's get this message real quick real clear Sagittarius because all of these are coming up in the reverse so it's some stagnant energy here and justice want to pop up in the upright, which is really good. So you are getting your justice out of a situation with someone who was playing games with you. They were stalling things with you and you're getting justice out of this situation. Now, we'll see whether you're getting justice by this person finally coming towards you or you're getting justice because you're about to end up in a relationship outside of this connection. But justice is being served. But someone was definitely stalling things with you. Because you're not communicating with this person. You're not communicating with this person. But the thing is... Okay, let's see. And in the end, they, they're spying on you. Yes, you your overall energy is the Ten of Cups. You're focused on your Ten of Cups. That's what you're attracting. You're getting your Ten of Cups. You want the full package here. That's what you're attracting. That's what you're about to get. That is your justice. You're about to end up in a happy, committed relationship. Someone who makes you truly happy and someone who treats you the way that you deserve. So, first of all, we're starting with the Two of Wands in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse. So, someone refused to get off of their butt, get out of their comfort zone to come towards you and make a commitment. Now, there could have been a difference in values here. There could have been a difference in traditions here, which trigger this person to refuse to come towards you because they were concerned that you guys would not be able to match in each other's worlds or to fit in each other's worlds because of the difference of cultures, traditions, religious values, strong uh, traditions and religious values with the Hierophant here which trigger this person not to come towards you, to make a decision not to come towards you. Now, moving on, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Devil in reverse. So you guys have released this. You, you're viewing this person as you have released this toxic energy. You have gotten over this toxic energy. You're seeing this person for who they truly are, and you guys are releasing them. You're no longer expecting communication. You're no longer, you guys have given up trying to reach out to this person. And it's like the energy that you're in is like, like trying to 
communicate with this person is a definite no no. It's like no, like that's that's a long gone situation. It's long over, long gone and over. Like talking with this person, that's no, it's not going to happen at this point because they're to you, it's like they're toxic and you're not entertaining any form of tox toxicity in your life. So you guys have gone like cold on this person. Now you have the page of pentacles in reverse. You don't see any pot potential for growth in this relationship. With the justice and the upright, you're getting your justice. So the overall energy is the Ten of Cups. But what is your justice? With the page of uh, Pentacles in reverse, the fact that you don't see any potential in this relationship, how is that your... Because I see this person spying on you all the while you guys end up exactly where you desire to be in life. It's like you guys are getting your wish fulfillment here. Your hope is being restored. So it's like with the Ten of Cups, your hope is being restored in love and you're getting what you desired. And this person is stuck in this page of source energy, spying on you. Still, it's like they're still holding back communication. So they're holding on to like thoughts of communicate, communicating with you. So like shoulda, coulda, woulda. They'll always like think about what they should have said to you so this will always hunt this person like the fact that they should have said this the fact that they should have said that and now they have to watch you live out your life with someone else knowing that they could have been living out their life with you and that they will never truly be happy living out their life with someone else but you're truly happy with someone else here what is this page of pentacles in reverse about? Oh, so this page, the reason why there is no potential for growth is because this person refuses to message you. So this is why things didn't go anywhere in this relationship. Now, I'm getting that this person, is it's like they thought about messaging you, but they never did. So, things never went anywhere. Now, what is your justice? You're unstuck. So, your justice is actually the fact that there is no po uh, potential for growth. That's what you need to see. Because now there's someone coming towards you that you can rely on. That's what you need to see. Your justice is that you're no longer stuck in this situation. I get it. And they're stuck. Your hope has been, your hope, if it's not restored already, your hope will be restored in love. But you're no longer stuck in this situation. Had this person messaged you, you would have remained stuck in this situation. But since they didn't reach out to you, it allowed uh, you to be set free from the situation. So be grateful that they didn't message you, Sagittarius. Because there's someone that is slowly moving towards you. And this is someone that's moving towards you with a long-term commitment in mind. And this is someone that you can't depend on. The 
if I have one more card that falls on this floor. The universe literally stopped this person from messaging you to get you out of this relationship, to get this person off your mind. Someone is patiently planning. Oh my God. Someone is patiently planning something that's about to open your heart up. So whatever someone's, I'm getting this is someone new. Um, you could have just recently met someone. It just magically appeared. Whoa, wow, you know, your cup was right next to mine. Did you know that? <coughs> Did you see that? <coughs> Did you see your cup right next to mine by chance? Okay, I was just wondering. Okay, so someone is patiently planning something, okay? There's someone that has a lot of love for you. They, they, This person has had their eye on you for some time now. And this person is making a decision to come towards you. Uh, possibly within the next seven, uh, four to seven months. Okay. Whatever they, they are about to do, it is going to open your heart chakra up okay so this is very amazing because anything that is healing towards your heart chakra is amazing your heart chakra is one of the hardest chakras to heal and to open up because there's so much damage that is done to it over our lifespan that is one of the hardest chakras to heal it's easy to bring healing towards any other chakra but our heart chakra. So, for you to find someone that can bring healing towards your heart chakra is amazing. I'm seeing that you guys are finding someone that is going to bring healing towards yours. Some of you guys already know this person, but you just haven't, you're not in a relationship with this person and they're planning to come towards you with an offer of commitment. Some of you guys are in solitude at this time and you're doing a lot of studying. Yes, and this person is about to disrupt this solitude that you guys have going on in a good way they're about to disrupt this solitude that you have going on but in a good way you guys do not see this coming because this person is not letting you know I'm getting, you guys know, there's like this, if you know this person already, you guys know that this is the person you're going to end up being with. There's this inner knowing that this is your person and that they're coming towards you. 
there is like, there's some fear that this person is dealing with or that you're dealing with. But I'm getting, it's like, this person is dealing with some fear here. I'm sorry. Oh. There goes my eyes just, so my eyes will start to bother, bother me with my allergies too. So this person is having some fears about reaching out as well they're all in their head about this i'm not sure exactly yet like it's not really giving me i mean you guys would know like what you guys are very intuitive as well what specifically uh why this person is afraid to reach out to you. It's nothing serious, but this person is a little intimidated to reach out to you. They are going to reach out to you. They are going to make some sort of bold announcement in your direction that's going to lead towards victory and success in this relationship. And I'm getting that you guys will have some sort of intimate encounter here as well with this person but right now they're all in their head about reaching out and they're holding themselves back some of you guys if you've reached out to this person and they didn't respond back they're reading they're really beating themselves up about this and so they're gonna they are gonna make some bold announcement towards you now, your outcome is solar plexus, chakra, and firm foundation. This person is going to provide you a firm foundation. They are going to provide you a lot of stabili stability and security here. Um, I'm also getting that because your solar plexus is the place where we store our emotions here. So this person, they're going to be the type of person that you feel safe to confide in, um, confine in. I can barely hear myself. My ears are stuffing up. And it's not, it's not that I'm coming with the code. It's just like my sinuses are just like, oh, I'm sorry, Sagittarius. But um, you'll feel safe to tell this person like your secrets here they're going to offer you a lot of security and stability. This person, they're very health conscious as well too. They like to work out. They definitely have their eye on you. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what Sagittarius, um, they're about to disrupt your singlehood very shortly here. So you single Sagittarius, you're not going to be single for long because they're about to disrupt all of that. Two of Cups. You guys are definitely about to be in a committed relationship. 
somebody is has not revealed to you how much they love you but there is mutual love between you and someone here and there is definitely about you are definitely about to be in a committed relationship because you and someone you could possibly have a child too but you and someone are definitely about to come into union because I definitely see you and someone like sharing vows, uh, exchanging vows in front of someone here. And there is definitely like a lot of emotions between you and this person here that is hard for you to, to control. Yeah, this person has been taking their time to come towards you, though. I'm getting like, that's the frustrating part to offer you this commitment. But this person is going to make you very happy and they're going to be very generous towards you. They're going to spoil you. They're coming towards you. Yes, they definitely are. There will be a reunion and no, none of this has been in vain. All is going to work out. You will get the clarity that you have been seeking in this uh, connection. This is manifesting. It may be taking some time, but it's all going to manifest in divine time. And it's not even in divine time. And is manifesting exactly when it needs to but someone has been feeling a little in intimidating to reveal their true emotions towards you because they're concerned that you don't feel the same way that they do but they will open up very shortly here because they don't want to lose you so it's no need to fear because you're going to get exactly what you desire out of this connection. So I'm going to leave it there. Sagittarius, these are the messages that came through for you. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, you all take care.